Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I'm your host Ben and we're going to dive into a new token that just came out on the market. God's Token. And this is from the blockchain game Gods Unchained. So if you haven't heard about it yet, we're going to go through and cover a whole bunch of this. If you're a gamer, there's opportunities for you to make a decent living or at least a side gig off of playing this game. If you're an investor, there's a lot of potential there as well. Behind me here, you can see we're at the Gods Unchained website. This is a trading card game that pays to play. Now that's going to be big and we're going to dive into all the ways that you can make money off this, whether you're a gamer or an investor. So we know it's a trading card game and in the past, trading card games have been very lucrative businesses. Even card shops themselves that just sell the packs of the trading card games and hold the tournaments, a lot of those have made pretty good money and pretty good names for themselves. Games like Magic turns millions of dollars. Pokemon, same thing. And there's all types of games that come out, but these blockchain trading card games, I truly believe is going to be the future, and Gods Unchained has really put it together. Now, it's still young, so there's some snags that they need to work out, but as far as what they're aiming for and what they've accomplished so far, I personally think this may be one of the biggest potential games in the NFT blockchain space to come out, especially with the God's token now available. From my understanding, one of the devs from Magic the Gathering uh, is a part of this project. It is kind of a mix between Magic and Hearthstone. If you're not a gamer, you've probably heard of Magic, but probably never heard of Hearthstone. I'm not the biggest gamer in the world, but I do like to play some strategy games or survival games when I have the time. I never have time though. but when I first saw this, it really intrigued me when I ran across it in my crypto research. So while I'm going through all this, in the corner across from me, you'll be seeing a small window of the gameplay that I'm going to let run for a good bit while I'm talking. So you can kind of see how the game uh, looks actually from inside of it and kind of some of what the cards are doing. We'll look at some cards as well. So as of now, Gods Unchained is built on top of ethereum it does cost ethereum gas fees to buy packs so you can buy packs of the nfts of the cards and they're really not that expensive maybe the shiny which i've heard is not a good idea to buy the shiny card pack but for these for nfts is not too bad but with the ethereum gas fees it's very very high to buy packs but those gas fees have caused prices of some of these cards to explode. We'll go look at some of the marketplaces and take a look at some of those prices. Just so you see right off the bat here, what type of game we're dealing with. So here we're on the Immutable X blockchain. If we go into Gods Unchained, we can look up, let's go by rarity. And you can see all these cards, these are NFTs of the cards. They cost some type of Ethereum. So let's go from high to low price so you can see here some of these very rare cards are going for quite a bit of money right now and those gas fees i think are part of the reason why these nfts are so high besides the rarity factor once they're not ethereum gas fees anymore i do expect these prices to come down some because this is insane like these first four cards you know this is almost what is this a million yeah 10 million ethereum just about for one nft that's wild i'd expect these prices to come down and even if they do come down they're not going to come down super low so you know there's still going to be cards that you can win during these tournaments and stuff to make some pretty good money just by selling them as the nfts trading card games like i said have been very profitable in the past now this one that's one of the ways that you can make money playing this game is through selling the cards from the NFTs. Now, how do you get the cards? Well, when you sign up with the game, there's some tutorials that you can watch right, right here. This learn to play, sharpen your skills. You watch the tutorial, you'll get some free packs to start off with. And then you can play ranked matches or you can play direct against somebody else. 
And they also have a couple other modes, like a solo, so you can go against the computer. And then there's the tutorial also. See right there, new players receive three core packs. And this tutorial will show you the how the game actually works. But we're not going to go through the tutorial. We're more worried about the money side today. So the ranked matches, which we'll get into what is going on right now with these, is where you're going to be competing. And you level up, and as you level up, you get packs. And when you hit certain milestones, there's several le se there's multiple levels of rankings. As you rank up, you'll get packs. And now they're starting to do events where you'll be able to get these packs of NFTs and God's token. So that's pretty cool. But they have this forge process here. You can forge cards. If you have two of the same one and you have flux and god's tokens then you can fuse these this forge has been down for about a year and a half it's caused a lot of issues with players in the game because this is one of the biggest money makers you can see it's currently down and that's due to the high transaction fees because once again it was on ethereum minting but it's going to reopen with that immutable x minting they just came out and said that it's probably going to be by the end of this year. This will be back open now that the God's token has released. So you would fuse these and it would cost Flux, which is right up here. You can kind of see it's kind of cut off on my screen. But it costs Flux and it will cost God's tokens. And if you have enough to fuse them, you'll be able to start fusing and make these and mint these into NFTs. Now, if you click here, you can see, see the levels of card rarity that you can mint up to. So Diamond was some of those really expensive cards, those 10 million in Ether. For a Diamond card, you can fuse your plain cards all the way up to where they're to that point. So there is a ranking system to the cards as well, a tier level of how strong the cards are. Like these right here are the mint quality but you have the rarity quality. So the rare the card is, if you have two of it, you can mint that up until it's a super rare diamond card, and that's where you're going to get the most money at more than likely. So as more players start playing and packs become rare and rarer to get of each set, new people will be trying to look for these older cards. Now, this is their blog, and you can find that from the Learn button on Gods Unchained. And you can see this is a new event just came out October 29th. Play to earn God event. Play to earn event. Blessing of the God's token. So this event starts on November 1st and it runs about eight weeks. And every week you have to complete these tasks to be able to get points to get paid out in your God's tokens. So play 20 or more ranked games, win seven or more ranked games, pass four rounds of each ranked game, and be at least rank four purified iron on gods and chain by the end of the campaign to qualify. Play versus games with at least 17 unique opponents out of the 20 games played. So you can't bother doing any nonsense like that. They're protected against that. But this is not that unachievable. I, in fact, have already done it. So if you do get in God's chain and want to play, my first week so far, to be able to find your stats, you would go to this Gudex, gudex.com. That's going to be down in the description along with a link to sign up for God's Unchained. But if I go to Gudex and go to Meta and Player Stats, I can type in my username, which of course is Framework Fortune. So if you see me on, if you see Framework Fortune on there playing, it's me. <laughs> So you can see here, I've already hit those base points for this week, and I have five days left. So all that's completed. Now I'm just trying to earn the bonus points. So I did get one point, so I'm going to be getting a payout probably middle of next week in God's Tokens. Now there was a weekend event this past weekend, and you know I didn't really realize there was an event. I just found this game in the coin two weeks ago, and had just started messing with it. Uh, but you can see I actually won six rare packs there on that weekend event. And the higher you rank, the more packs you can get. And you can see there's some epics and some legendaries, stuff like that. So those are going to be some nice NFTs that you can sell for some decent money. Plus the gods tokens you're going to get. As a player of the game, this is another way that you can make money through these events, through these gods tokens.
So my investors, hang with me. If you're an investor, you're a trader, you're like, all right, this is all kind of boring. I'm not that big into gaming. I kind of see where you're going with this. Just hang with me. We're about to get to the gods tokenomics, and that's where it's going to get real interesting. Gudex.com to keep up with your ranks and see where your prize prizes at if you're going to be a player and of course there's all types of other resources on here a tier list you can look at decks that's been winning uh, you can search other players and there's another marketplace the other one is immutable x this one from gudex is token trove and you can see on this one it's a little bit lower price than the other side but you can see here still 250 ethereum that's still a lot of money so big money in these NFTs for sure. Now back to the event though, just so you can see, the gods token will be distributed as rewards according to the points you earn per week. Players must complete all the requirements above to receive any points. And then you see right there the Gudek link where you can get to it. And then the rewards will be distributed within five days after the end of each week. So it's almost like a paycheck. You'll get your gods tokens and your coins uh, the following Friday probably of the week before this just started this week so i'm not really sure how exactly long it takes we'll see and i'll continue to update my progress with the game here i'm not going to start a whole new channel for gods unchained i will do updates and some other content and stuff on it because i am bullish on this and i'm in it i'm playing it and i actually got some of the gods tokens which we'll talk about more here in a second you can find all this in the learn to see how much gods tokens that you will receive and you can see max supply for this blessing of the gods event is four million gods they're giving out quite a bit of it now what price is gods token at right now you may be thinking you may think well that a million is not that many or whatever that big number was if this is something like sheba where it's pennies but as you can see the gods token came out shot straight up to seven dollars had a little sell-off but it's climbing up again pushed all the way up to a new high of 840. So we have a nice U shape, and this has only been out since the 31st, or the, the 30th actually, and it's already trending up. Now, it's only on two brokers outside of the US. So I had to use SushiSwap and MetaMask to get the gods tokens. You can find it on Sushi. You are going to have to pay Ethereum gas fees. I waited for a while, keeping an eye on the gas fees until I saw them drop and was able to average in here because I bought them at a price of 430 but because I used because I paid about forty dollars in gas fees for the 20 coins that I bought um, at 430 they averaged my average out to about six something so I'm already in the profit already and I don't think this is done as this game grows and as more exchanges add it more volume is going to come into it but let's get into the tokenomics here so it is the core currency and you can find this God's Frequently Asked Questions page on the God's Unchained website. Super easy FAQ to go through. Very easy to understand. So we're just going to go through it real quick. So it is designed to enrich the play-to-earn loop being used to craft new NFTs, make in-game purchases, and champion user input via governance voting. So you will be able to vote on this game, on the proposals, if you are a God's token holder. So if you're a gamer, I want you to think about that for a second. You will have input into how this game runs. And the gods will be given out here uh, through quest matches, active staking. So we're going to have staking. Staking on a game like this, I haven't really seen on something that could be this much potential. This is a serious competitor to maybe give some of those games like Magic and Pokemon a run for their money. Especially if you're getting paid in NFTs and in cryptos to play it, where those other games, eh, you know, unless you go to a big tournament or whatever, you're probably not going to make that much money. So the God's tokens are ERC-20 tokens. Tokens will, will be rewarded to users through play, so you'll be able to get them through play like I was talking about. But, however, unlike existing currencies on a lot of these games, God's will be scarce and tradable. So true digital ownership is an important foundation to them and you need to have, as they're saying, a sustainable play-to-earn system. So they think God's tokens are the key to unlocking this. 
So they are creating a whole economy around this game where people will be able to play a game and make a living. So what is the total supply? 500 million. Never going to be more. There's only 500 gods tokens. So the public sale, 35 million are on the market at 7% of the total supply. That's public sales already happened. So there's 35 million out there or whatever's left from people buying it. And then the rest of it, there's a 300 and, there's 307 and a half million that 61% of the supply was allocated to community. And these are the tokens that will be distributed through the earn rewards, the community and the ecosystem fund and community allocation. So what can it be used for? Crafting NFTs that are playable and tradable. So that's all the fusion we were talking about earlier. And then you can purchase items of gods, 20% of all primary sales and 20% of secondary trading fees. And gods unchained will be paid for in gods. Now here's the god staking rewards. So you'll have rewards that will be distributed to all users that qualify as active stakers. The user to be qualified as active, user must have voted on proposal in the last 30 days and must have held gods within immutable X for the full duration of the specified seven-day period. So you're going to have a seven-day lockup, it sounds like, with gods token, and you got to vote on any proposals that come out. And then, of course, there's the governance and voting and all the different things you will be able to vote on. And then it says, why is gods on a LT solution? So actually, I guess Immutable X is built on top of Ethereum because it's saying it's uh, their layer two solution. So it must be Immutable X and then Gods Unchained on top of that. But anyway, it lets players and collectors buy, sell, trade Gods tokens and NFTs without paying any gas fees. So when that happens, those big Ethereum gas fees are not going to be a thing anymore. So then some people ask, can you withdraw my Gods onto level one? You can. Uh, you can withdraw your gods to level one or to any DEX or centralized exchange that supports gods, but you got those gas fees. Can you earn for free? Yes, starting on November 1st, Blessing the Gods event, like we talked about, you'll be able to earn that gods for free. So you can check out this if you want to see more on the frequently asked questions or more about this website. As I said, godsunchained.com is the website. They have all types of stuff going on. I do use MetaMask. You can use a hardware wallet to connect to gods. Right now, I think there's about 20,000 holders of gods tokens. Well, as this game becomes more popular, we get to a million players, and all million people are interacting in the gods token. That's going to more than likely push the price up as it will be getting tons of volume all the time as it will be used as the currency of this economy. But there's no inflation. There's no deflation. Now, technically, because most of the coins are held in the rewards pool and will be slowly given out, that is considered inflation. But the max supply is 500 million, so that's still pretty low supply, especially for something that has this much potential. So as I'm recording this video, you can see that Gods is already popping up some more, up to 725. I think we're at least going to go to 10, maybe more. There's no telling because of how new this coin is, and currently there's only the 30 million in supply that's out there. So if more hype gets around this and it starts really pushing and start showing up on people's scanners and stuff, then we could see, you know, maybe a really, really big rip. Overall, I like this project. The gameplay is very smooth. They have nice graphics. They have so many different ways to make money, whether you're investing time to get paid in God's token or you're staking God's token or, you you know, you're minting NFTs and selling those on the open market. There's this game just gives players and investors so many ways to make money. I don't see how it can fail at this point, especially compared to a lot of the other games that I've seen. And the game is still in its early stages, so there's plenty of sets. If you've ever looked at any of those games, Magic the Gathering has went on for, I don't know, 30 years or something like that. I don't know the exact amount. So this could be that next magic the gathering but on the blockchain that could generate uh, millions of dollars which it already is when 
it comes to U.S. exchanges like it's on Coinbase, Voyager, uh, Kraken, wherever ones it comes to first. I think we'll see an uptick in the price as well from that. Because people who are playing this game are going to want to be buying it. They're incentivized to buy the God token to get it to mint the NFTs. So they're going to be constantly buying it. And with them constantly buying it and investors buying it and stakers buying it and holding it, you know, the supply is going to continually shrink while they're still using it at that high volume. So I don't know what the roof is. I don't know how high this is going to go. Could this drop and go to zero? Yes, any investment can. But this community is very active. Like I said, I've been playing in it for a week in my free time, and I have not had to wait on any games whatsoever. There are people playing this game 24-7 all around the world. The potential is here. I think it's going to be one of the biggest blockchain games to come out, especially in the trading card game space going to be hard to compete with but god's unchained god's token go check it out if you know about gods and you've got some thoughts or maybe i missed something or messed up some of the information go ahead and correct me down in the comments and let me know and if you're new to gods and you go do some research let me know your thoughts on it and if you want to sign up that link is in the description it is an affiliate link which is another way that players and investors with gods unchained can earn money so if you sign up with my affiliate link i'll get a percentage of any packs that you buy if you play so get all your friends to play with your affiliate link and you can get percentages of the packs they buy this is the point of gods unchained is to grow a big community economy around something that everybody loves and that's why i love it because that is the same goal that i am working on for frameworkfortune.com and the framework fortune brand if you haven't yet think about subscribing to the channel as we do do daily crypto updates live with some crypto trading thrown in here and there appreciate everybody joining me as always stay safe out there until next time